Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to this week's video. I've been asked to do this a lot, I'm not gonna lie, I got a lot of requests for this the last time I put out a request box on Instagram and I'm a little bit late in making it, but as you guys know, I have been ill. You know it all, you know it all by now. Today's video is basically my 2022 plant predictions. So basically what's going to go up, what's gonna go down, what's staying the same, generally what I think might happen this year. Yeah. I felt a little bit weird making this video because quite honestly, a lot of people take what I say as absolute gospel. So with that in mind, I haven't picked a ton of really specific plants per se. I picked a couple of things from each category, so I'm gonna talk about them. So you're not gonna get super, super specifics. You will get specific plants, but I'm doing this to give you a flavor of what I think is gonna happen this year. I'm also on antibiotics for my skin right now, and I can see it's making me break out, which is a little bit sad. Oh, and I also have a swatch on my hand of lipstick that I was trying out for today and I can't get it off. So if anyone wants to know a good lipstick that doesn't come off, I think this is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hours. Seriously, I can't get it off. I've washed this about seven times, so it's pretty good. So without further ado, let's get into it. I've got stuff written down on my phone to go through. It's not in any particular order, but I do have a couple of categories here because you know what I'm like with my categories. I love a good category. So I've got stuff becoming affordable. I have stuff becoming more popular, so that's not really to do with money. I have stuff coming back for a second wind. I have stuff going strong, and I have some general opinions, which to be honest, looking at this, it's mainly about tissue culture. So let's start with some stuff becoming affordable because who doesn't love that? So the first plant that I think is gonna become more affordable and I don't think anybody can argue with this really is the Syngonium Albo. Now, I'll not spend too long on this because I've talked about this, honestly, I've talked your ear off on this channel about this plant. But this plant, I think it was last year, used to be round about, oh, I don't know, maybe 100, 150, something like that. It's dropping right down. You can probably get one half that price, no problem, maybe even cheaper. This plant in 2022, to, I think it's going to start making its way into essentially big box stores. I don't think it's going to be in plant shops, you know, such as mine or anything so much longer. I'm certainly not really selling it anymore. I do actually have quite a lot of the shop. I've got a whole tray of it, but I'm not selling it anymore. So it will, in my opinion, come down further because it's already leaving that price bracket of what a lot of shops would, you know, perceive as a good investment, bringing in, propagating in, selling on. It's already kind of leaving that zone. So that's the first plant that I think is probably going to end up in box stores. And that is not a bad thing at all, by the way. I think that's brilliant because it's variegation on a budget and who doesn't want a little bit of that? They're great plants. I'll not speak about them anymore because honestly, I have spoke about them to death on this channel, but they're a great plant if you're looking for one. And I honestly think in 2022, they're gonna come down even more. The Adansoniae Varigata. This one is not gonna be in box stores yet. Obviously, we're a little way off that, but I honestly think this year is gonna be the year that it tips down into double digits. When I say double digits, I probably mean like maybe a one to two leaf cutting for double digits. I cannot see people holding off the plants at higher value too much longer. I think by the time we get out of spring, I think we are done for this plant. I think it's gonna become very affordable. Again, brilliant. It's variegation that is kind of more affordable than a lot of other types of variegation. Now it's crazy really when you think back because I think when I did my Monstera Rare Plant Index that must have been in 2019 and if you think about just three years from that that plant was borderline unobtainable it was thousands and hardly anybody had it. Fast forward to now it's everywhere and it's it's bombing out at the minute at about 200 something like that. When I say 200 by the way I mean like 200 pounds, 200 euros, 200 dollars, something like that. Obviously, yes, it depends where you are. Prices may vary, but generally you get what I'm saying. It's gone down so much. It's gone down from four digits to three digits and they're low three digits as well. And that's pretty much across the board, I would say. So that's another one that I'm really looking forward to coming down because again, I think it becomes then another entry level plant. So I think that's really, really good for people that are trying to come into rare plants and starting to collect them. They're also reasonably easy to grow. They're easy to propagate. They're one of these few plants as well. And I have noticed this. I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but it's one of these few plants where if you get a cutting with a half moon, you're probably okay in terms of not then growing it on and then getting a white leaf and then a green leaf. It's not that bad compared to other plants. So I actually do recommend them. All I'm saying is I think you could wait a little bit longer for those prices to come down. Not box store prices, but I reckon we could get them to about a hundred or just less this year. 
Of course, it's not great if you're trying to sell these plants, so all I can say is sell when you feel fit to sell. I know that I probably have a few at some point that'll just be going for whatever the current rate is, but you should be able to obtain one if you want one. I think most people that are looking for them nowadays can find them. It's not too hard to find. Right, let's talk about the Philodendron Pink Princess. I know I have bashed it in a recent video in the top worst plants of 2021 just because the quality was so bad and it's getting really, really cheap. And I think that's a good thing, by the way, not saying that a plant becoming affordable is a bad thing. Of course it's not. What it is bad for are the people that have invested and paid like COVID prices for one of these plants. So during COVID, during 2020, we'll say, People were paying, oh my goodness, I'm sure it got up to the 500s, right? I'm sure I'm not making that up. They were paying a lot of money for these plants. Now, don't get me wrong, there were, you know, arguably large plants, arguably some plants with more variegation, not saying they weren't half decent, some of them. Certainly the ones at the 500 mark should have been, God forbid. I'll tell you what I saw the other day when I was going into a garden center slash aquarium to see about some fish for my fish tank. Yes, I do still have it. I walked past, uh, you know, like one of the big trays and someone was stocking the the aisles of the plant section and I couldn't help but notice there was quite a few very small pink princesses There were maybe about I don't know 12 centimeter pot something like that maybe even a 10 centimeter pot not very big at all and they were selling for 12.99 12 pounds 99. I think that was in Cheshire by the way as well so that's quite an upmarket area and yet they were selling for that and that just tells you how far a plant can go. Now really honestly I think this plant should have had that journey a long time ago. I think that it it garnered a lot of attention around about 2019 before Covid hit because these plants were always in TC. Always. When I got mine I think it was a tissue culture plant and I don't mean the one I got from the Aroid show, I mean one I got a long time ago. I think I did a giveaway one as well. So yeah, these plants have always been in TC, it's just that they took a little bit of a wobble I guess. Maybe it's a demand thing, they were in lower demand and then, you know, Covid demand hit and then no one was making it so everyone was behind it. So it's cool that they're in big box stores if you want to buy it. It's not cool if you've been planning on investing in it and selling in it. It hasn't done so well, which is a really big shame. I still think though, and I will say this, I still think if you're wanting to sell a pink princess and it's got brilliant variegation, I think you should still be able to sell that. Because what I will say is the quality on offer, and I did speak about this in that other video, the quality on offer is just abysmal. So if you've got a good quality one, go for it. A little bit different because it takes a long, long time for these things to develop good variegation. So if you don't want to wait, I still think it's a good idea to buy a good cutting, but it's kind of up to you. You can wait it out and get a cheap one and, and suck it and see if you didn't know if, you know, that kind of plant was for you. <sighs> I'm not even breathing between my sentences today. Honestly, I think I'm just too hot. Okay, so that is it for plants becoming more affordable. I didn't want to pick out every single plant under the sun because there's so many and would be here all day, but those are like my top picks for stuff that I think are going to be going down. The first thing that I think is going to become a lot more popular is without a doubt the Philodendron Spiritus Sancti. Now then, I know it's always been popular. The point is the price has become a little bit crazy but as we know a lot of plants have been in tissue culture and everything else and they're becoming more available. Now I will speak about TC a little bit at the end because it was just some observations I was noting as I was kind of planning for this video. So I will speak on that at the end but Philodendron Spiritus Sancti, great plant, love them. If you haven't seen them before, of course, here is a picture. Um, they're absolutely stunning and they are dropping into prices that are, they're, they're a lot of money, don't get me wrong. You won't find one for less than a thousand if it's a half mature specimen, but they're becoming a price that people that like really drop money on things are able to drop money on. Does that make any sense? They're in the very low thousands. Now, there is kind of like tiers with this sort of stuff and it is ridiculous, honestly it is. But you have like people that can pay double digits, people that can pay anything up to like mid treble digits. Then you have people that are in the upper treble digits. Then you have people that can pay a couple thousand. Then you can have like just insanely rich people that can pay 10,000 and upwards and they're, they're just super, super plants. There, there's tiers above that, don't get me wrong, but that's kind of where I'm on about. So it's dropped from that tier where it's like 10,000 and it's dropped all the way down to, you know, what, what variegated Adansoni I was back in its day, a couple of thousand or something like that. So I'm acknowledging that they are still expensive, but I think they're going to become more popular, not that they ever weren't, because the price band is starting to tip into something that is like 
it, it's like remotely feasible, right? So that's definitely one that I think will come into play this year because there is a lot of TC out there. And if you want my opinion, if I was the person producing this plant, I wouldn't have maybe made so much of them. I think they're probably kicking themselves, to be honest, for releasing that much on supply because a lot of nurseries bought these in and I think there's just so many and it's it's gone public how many there are and really it's getting hard to shift them so for that reason we have seen the prices go down that is why it's happening it's because it was a little bit too transparent that one and you know everything comes down and as a result more people have waited it out so the prices drop from like ten thousand right the way down so i think it is a good time for people to start getting into spiritus and start you know propagating or doing whatever they want to do so not saying it's going to become super popular but i think we're going to see a lot more people being able to own these plants because they've become a little bit more affordable and I, I hope you know what I mean by that. They're not affordable, but they are compared to what they were. They're about 10% of what they were. So that's brilliant. Next plant, I'm not going to linger on this because I've talked about this a lot recently, is the Whipple Way, the Philodendron Whipple Way. Um, I do think that this is going to become the new trendy kind of elite plant of 2022. That's because obviously it's been around for a while, obviously. But I think it's just coming onto the market this year. So I think personally, it's a good investment plant because they grow reasonably quickly and you can propagate them reasonably quickly. They're not brilliant, but they're not terrible. They're kind of, they're kind of middle of the road, right? And I think they're very, very sellable. A one leaf cutting will go for around about one and a half thousand. I know that's a lot. Again, I know that's a lot, but it's able to be sold and it's just hitting that tier of what is manageable for a lot of people that have some some degree of capital should we say so i think that has high potential to be one of the eight plants of this year plus just to briefly mention the appearance of this plant because it's amazing leaves come in a really nice kind of milkshake color to be honest like a really nice baby pink then they fade to white then they fade to minty green then eventually they fade to green but you will see a lot of plants out there that stay really minty for a long time like longer than a philodendron florida ghost if you've seen that way longer than that they've got a lot about them they hold their value they're not too bad to care for they don't need insane care they're really really pretty and they don't lose variegation so there is no gamble there so for that reason i think it's going to be an amazing plant for 2022 Another plant that is starting to hit a price point that is more acceptable for a lot of people is the Philodendron UPI. I know I have a couple of these that I sell occasionally. I know I have anything from, uh, I think I've got a mature one, I've got a medium sized one, then I have a couple of baby ones that are grown from like very small plants. Again, similar to the other plants, only this is hitting even more of an affordable price point. I think, I don't like quoting this without knowing because then everything goes as gospel from what I say, but I believe these plants can go in really high treble digits if it's a small very young plant so you can pick something up like i don't know 750 maybe less maybe less don't know i hate quoting things because then i go on the internet and i look and then it's nothing like what i've said but i think it's something like that again do your research if you want to buy one this plant is really cool but it's not for everyone as you may be able to see from the image they're just different they're weird they're a collector's item so it's not like a super popular plant that's not what i'm getting at it's just stuff that is becoming you know more popular it's becoming more popular in a, in a collector's sense. It's not becoming more popular because it's gorgeous like some of the other plants on this list. So I wanted to mention it real quick because it's an acquired taste, but it is becoming more popular. There are a little bit more of them around than they were. At one point there was like none at all during COVID. So it's starting to cycle its way out. So if it's something you're looking for, it's, it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. It's making a steady decline. I don't think it's ever going to be super cheap. I don't think we're ever going to see it hit like low triple digits i don't think that's gonna happen to be honest i think it's gonna be a long time because this plant does have a lot of prestige but it's getting better it's definitely getting better as a result i think it's gonna get a little bit more popular i'm gonna very briefly touch on this because there's nothing specific i've noticed it's just something that's coming into play a lot because a lot of people are um pollinating plants and stuff like that at home more often now but i'm seeing a lot of hybrid anthuriums again nothing specific but I'm seeing a lot more of them pop up. So I do think they're going to become more popular because more of them are coming out. People are crossing more things with more things. I think they're notably easier than philodendron to, you know, to produce seed from. So I think that's why it's happening. But you get a lot of hobbyists doing that. And as a result, we are getting some really cool things pop up. So if you want to explore Anthurium a little bit more, this year might be a great year to do it because I think you're probably gonna find the exact hybrid that you want because there is a lot going on out there. So again, can't give you anything specific. It's just a general thing that I've noticed is popping up. And as a result, I definitely think that they're gonna get more popular generally.
Right, stuff coming back for a second wind. The first thing I want to talk about is the Monster Attack constellation. Now, I honestly think this is going to come back for a second wind because everyone has had enough notice to see the price on these things, right? Everyone has had enough notice to see the problems that AJ Costa Farms have had. You know, they don't propagate as well and everything else. So all of the labs that used to produce this, and they still will, don't get me wrong, they've probably gone into overdrive a little bit, and I reckon we're going to see more of these start popping up, if I'm honest. I even think there's going to be an influx in Europe. Something tells me. I think that a lot of nurseries are probably producing these. I haven't seen it personally or anything. Um, I don't even think I've seen anything on Instagram, but I'm pretty sure these things are going to be coming out. So I'm not saying the price is going to drop because as with all these things, these suppliers usually hold fast on the price to try and gain as much profit as possible. You know, guys, this is how it works. Don't shoot the messenger, but that's how it works. So I'm not saying the price is going to come down. That's why I haven't put it in the first category. I'm saying that there's going to be more of them. And I think as a result, more people are going to want to buy them. And I think there is going to be a second wind because I feel like if people don't buy them now and there is another lull, then they may miss out for some time because these things are a little bit trickier than what, I don't know, maybe what the, the old batches of TC were. I don't know. Again, I'll get onto TC later on because I've got a couple things to say about that. Monstera Thai Constellation. Maybe in Europe, but definitely other places. But you might start seeing it being circulated in Europe a little bit more. I definitely think that might happen this year. Next, I have to talk about is the Philodendron Red Moon. And I put this on at the last minute because I said something about it in last week's video. And it's gone, it's done a little boom. It's done a little boom on the likes of Facebook and things like that. And obviously that's probably just because a lot of people might not have known about that plant. I wouldn't say that it's always had a ton of press. I would say it's a little bit of an underdog. It does have a price tag. It's not a cheap plant. So if you do want to invest in a plant, it's probably, dare I say, a good one. Um, a lot of people are looking for it at the minute. Heads up, I've seen it. Uh, a lot of people are offering cuttings for, you know, the usual amounts of money that they offer cuttings for, but it's becoming more popular. It wasn't my plan to put it in this video, but seeing the reaction to the Red Moon from my last video last week, it's been a significant reaction. So usually when that happens, the, the plant has a mini boom. Sometimes it stays, like for example, Florida Ghost. The more and more people find out about those, the more people love them. And they're still a staple, I'd like to say. But I think the Red Moon, it, it, it's never even had that. So I do think it's going to become more popular. And it, I can certainly see signs of it already. That's kind of why I put it in this video. So it wasn't planned, but I put it in because I had to mention it. Next thing. I know, it's random. This is a little bit more random. But the Philodendron Majesty. Now, this is a plant with really dark foliage and it's really, really tough and it's quite an easy grower. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with this plant. The thing is that not a lot of it is usually kicking around at all. I've got, I think I've got one in my shop and last week it was chopped up into several bits. I think it snapped anyway, so I'm told. Um, it's being cut up into several pieces. So I'm not saying I'm going to be selling it because I don't have enough. I might have a cutting or something, but it's, it's nothing major. So that's not the reason I'm mentioning it. I have a feeling that it's going to come back because it's it could eventually make its way into a garden center or a big box store. It's got that potential as a plant that's really hardy. Same thing as Philodendron Dark Lord. I think both of those plants could one day make it into a garden center. They're not there yet, of course. I think we need to see them, you know, get more popular first and prove themselves. But I think it's kind of time for the majesty. I know that when I move house, I'm going to plant mine and grow it out to be really big and gorgeous. And hopefully I've got a good image that shows you what I'm talking about. Um, really, really nice plants. So I'd like to see something like that. And that's kind of like my nominated golf plant for the year. To be honest, I think that's kind of the one I've chosen because there's always a golf plant each year, right, of some sorts. Um, so I've chosen that one. And I think it'd be really great if that came back. Oh, I have actually written this on here and I didn't realize I had, but the Florida ghost I've written down because I feel like, <laughs> tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like this plant makes the rounds nearly every spring. Every spring since maybe 2019, I feel like this plant definitely makes the rounds. So I'm going to just put it out there because it usually does. I'm going to put out the theory that Florida ghost is going to come back again. Um, I should probably start propagating mine, actually. I've got like way too many. It's not even funny. It just does. I don't know why it does the rounds. I think because it looks its best in spring, because the temperature's up, the light's up, and just these things just get a growth spurt. Sorry. If I keep looking off camera, I'm looking at that fabric Florida ghost that I have from that gifts video. So every time I'm talking about the Florida ghost, I'm looking at that plant off camera. Sorry, that's very irritating. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to come back because it usually always does. And 
Everyone knows my opinions on Florida Ghosts, so I'm not going to go on about it. But basically, they're amazing. So if you want one, I suggest you get one. Yeah, I'm not saying that one's going to continue all year or anything. But again, I'm sure we're going to get the usual refresh of that plant. Because it's happened every year so far. Stuff going strong. I'll try and speed up because I don't know how long I've been going for. Can I see? No, I can't really tell because my time code doesn't really work like that on this monitor. So, stuff going strong. First things first, Philodendron Jose Bono. I'll tell you now, they're in TC. I do know that for a fact. So you can expect to see those pop up at some point. So I don't necessarily think that when they're in the TC, you're going to get them for a great price because, as I've mentioned before, they will start as high as they can. They will hold the prices as high as they can until they no longer can, basically, until the market gets saturated. Then they have no choice but to drop them. So I do think you will see a lot of holes here. I think you can buy them um, as small plants. And I think that they will hold their value and a lot of shops are going to want to put them in. I know I would personally. So I think that's definitely going strong because it's in TC. It must be going strong. It's not terrible news if you want to sell this plant either because, as I say, it's going to keep the value for a little bit. But it's it's potentially good news if you want to buy one and you can't find them, but you're willing to pay the price. Great, great news. Next one, Philodendron Glorious. Expect them to be in TC. I can confirm. So the supply on this plant is previously being very low. I know I've always had some, really I haven't, I've missed the boat on propagating them a lot of times. I, I tend to pick other plants, don't know why I just do. I have some, but I, I might have some ready for spring, I don't know, I need to actually check. That's, that's something I should probably go and do at the shop, see what's coming out, because I don't even know yet. But they will be in TC, so you can expect to see them. And I do actually recommend them. If you see them in TC and you get the chance to buy a baby plant, like, I genuinely recommend them. They're very, very tough, especially from a young plant. Not all plants are tough when they're young. A lot of them are, but not all of them are tough. A lot of young plants ship quite well, but it doesn't mean to say they're actually tough to grow. Does that make any sense? So you can expect to see that out as well, as well as Philodendron Splendid. I can confirm that is in TC. Yes, I can. I'm not going to say anything else. I can just tell you it's in TC. Um, again, great plant. Possibly even tougher than a Glorious. They're kind of on par. Don't get me wrong. I've got two that are growing in my living room. I've got a Splendid and a Glorious. They're both very tough. The Splendid sizes up quite easily. It plumps up really quick after shipping if you dehydrate it. Just get that thing in water for 24 hours and you will just be like, whoa, what happened to that? That looks like it never been shipped. So I can recommend them both. But I can tell you that they're in TC. The next thing going strong, I would say, would be the Philodendron Dean McDowell. They came about, I mean, they've been around for ages, but they never really had their day. And then I think it was last year, not the year before, they really did a bit of a, a return, shall we say. I don't think we're done seeing that because I don't think there's a ton out there. I suspect they will become more available, but I think they're definitely going strong. And I think if you want to sell cuttings of it, I still think they're a great plant to sell cuttings of. I don't think, personally, I haven't checked, I don't think that they're point of tipping downwards yet. I think we're still okay. So if you are thinking of investing in that one, still a good one, still think it's going strong. Right, my general opinions. <laughs> I tried to make general opinions, but I, I don't have too much to say, really. There's a lot that I can't say anyway, obviously, just due to my position. But the one thing I have noticed about... It's really... It, this is really a, a reflection looking back. But the one thing I've noticed that has happened last year that I want to talk about, because I don't quite understand it. And this is the kind of thing I would talk about in a repot with me. So I'm just going to lay it there and tell you what I think. So I've got written down that, you know, TC is on the rise. And... Obviously it is. That was always going to happen. But the thing I don't understand, and I'm going to put my phone down because I can feel my arms going because I'm getting expressive, right? But the thing I do not understand is people's mixed reaction to tissue culture. And I have to talk about this, guys, because honestly, someone, someone just needs to put the question out there, right? And I don't think anyone else is that I know of. So, right, let me take you back to 2020 when pandemic hit, prices were just gross, let's be honest. Great time if you were selling. I know I was and I missed it out because I took that time to build my new unit, so I missed out on all of that selling. It's a real shame. Um, but if you were selling, it was crazy. If you were buying, it was horrendous. That's the two sides of everything, right? That's how it is. And a lot of people were wishing, wishing, wishing some of these plants could be TC'd. So I don't know. I don't really like plucking examples at the end, but let's just say... Um, Philodendron Choco Red, for example, the price of that went sky high and people were like, oh, can you just hurry up and tissue culture it? And then the thing that happens is, and I do think that's been TC'd, I can't confirm that, but I'm sure I've seen it somewhere, 
um, on someone's Facebook or something in a, in a suspiciously small plantlet, if you know what I mean. TCs come out on a lot of plants. Like, for example, Spiritus. Let's take that, right? Spiritus Sancti got TC'd. Now, that was a plant that everyone was screaming for TC, right? This is the, probably the best example I could do. That plant was costing like $10,000. As I mentioned before, it's now come down to a price that, yes, it is a lot. It's Spiritus Sancti. It's going to be. But it became affordable, right? But why the mixed reaction to TC? I don't understand. And this is just something I noticed about the community and I'm just, I'm just gonna talk about it really. You have on one camp the people who were desperate for TC because prices got insane and everything else. The industry, shall we say, responded by creating TC of these plants. And since that has happened, I've never seen more crap thrown at TC in terms of people's opinions. And I'm laughing because I don't quite understand. And I would love to hear your comments on this because I want to understand what it is. I have a suspicion on what it is and I'll tell you about that in a minute, but I'm not really understanding why. I have a good theory and a bad theory and I'll get to it. You know, everyone wanted these plants to be TC'd and now people don't want to buy a plant because it's TC. And when I say TC, sorry if I've lost you, I mean tissue culture, so grown in a lab. Why? Why is that? Because honestly, guys, the only way to respond to a demand like that that we saw in COVID would be to do what has been done. And I'm not just talking about spiritus. Obviously, I'm talking about a lot of plants. But that's the only way to solve the problems that we were having. And that is what everyone wanted because people were getting aggressive, people going into nurseries with guns and everything else. It was awful. It was absolutely awful. So we have TC and now people don't really want to know. And... It's kind of weird, and to me personally, it can only say one of two things. So I'm going to tell you what those two things are that it says to me. One, there has been a rumour spread around that TC plants are weak. I think I know where that rumour has come from, from what I can tell. Not trying to, um, you know, drop any shade there or anything like that, but I think I know where the rumour from TC being weak has come from. Yes, sometimes people notice that TC plants are weaker than the real ones, but... The thing with TC, and I've said this in any video ever, is that TC plants are only as strong as the mother plant. You should be using a range of mother plants for tissue culture. That's how it should work to get a good quality of stock. Not every time you can do that, of course, in the case of Spiritus Sancti, I'm pretty sure they'll have had more than one plant available because you'd be surprised sometimes how many you can find. So, I don't personally think that all TC should be written off as weak. I think it just depends on the, the tissue culture batch. But generally speaking, I haven't heard too many problems, right? Now, that's the, the kind of good answer as to why people are reluctant to buy it. The bad answer, and I do think this actually happens more often than not, and I am going to say this on camera, is that I honestly think that behaviour like this unearths how big the dick-swinging culture in rare plant ownership is, and I know I've talked about this before a lot in Repot With Me, so if you don't watch those videos, you might be thinking, well, okay, that's, that's a statement, but I do believe that. And I think for a lot of people, when plants become tissue culture, they're no longer of interest because they're no longer rare and elusive and they're no longer as much of a status as what they were. Now, don't get me wrong. I know that in investment terms, that that does mean something. I'm not saying it doesn't for people. In investment terms, yes, that can mean something. But a lot of people, you can tell, it's not really about the investment either. It's, you know, a lot of people want a plant like a Spiritus Sancti. And a lot of people, when they see it's in TC, they don't want it anymore. And that is, it's not a problem you can stop. I, I haven't given too much thought on how problematic that actually is or isn't. I need some more time to mull that over. So if you want to ask me about it in a report, I, I'm happy to do that. But it's just something, this is just something I wanted to comment on for this year because obviously, as I can see from some of the plants on this list, TC is becoming more uh, prevalent. It's going to happen more and more. You can see more and more and more and more and more plants in TC and they can be of any type. There will be people putting plants into tissue culture to force variegation. So what I mean by that is send a variegated plant off to TC and just hope that variegates spawn from it and just do it via brute force. That can be done. That will have been done, I guarantee you. But I think we'll see more of that. You're going to see a lot more plants coming out of TC and we don't really have any choice but to be okay with it. And I, I don't mean that in a mean way. It's just that is the industry's response to what we're asking. It's supply and demand. This is a symptom of what happens. But I want you to know that doesn't mean to say the plants are weaker. In fact, a lot of cases, the plants can become stronger. Like, how do you personally think that plants end up in, in garden centres? Basic plants, literally basic plants, like um, just a basic heart leaf philodendron. How do you think that ends up in garden centres? Because the answer is TC. And a lot of 
plants make it into garden centers, not just because they're tissue cultured, obviously, it's because they're proven hardy and we can handle them. But a lot of those plants have been recreated and recreated and recreated and they'll keep the strongest mothers and they will breed them down and they will create more tissue culture from the really strong mothers and stuff like that. So tissue culture can be a good thing. It, it really depends how you look at it, I get that. But I don't really understand a lot of the reaction to tissue culture based on the fact it was always going to happen. That's what happens when too much demand is placed on, on a supply and there is clearly a way around it. And this is why I made that video in 2020 about tissue culture. If you want to see that, by the way, if you're thinking tissue culture, what is it? How's it done? I have a video. I will link that down below for you. But I just really want to get everyone talking about this whole tissue culture thing because guys, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. It really isn't. It's the way it's done now. It's more cost effective and everything else. And it's easier to sell plants as babies. I do think we're going to have, on the back of that, obviously, an obvious prediction to make is that we're going to be buying a lot of plants younger. But anyway, I could go on about that all day. So I want to know your opinion on that. Let me know if you have any predictions for 2022, just in case they're different from mine. It's good to talk about it. But more and more, I want to know your opinion on TC. I want to know what you think about, you know, whether the plants are strong, weak, whether it would influence your decision to buy something, whether you've seen the metaphorical dick swinging on the internet. I want to know. So if you'd like to leave a comment about that, please feel free to leave that below. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I tried to keep it as targeted, I suppose, as I could be to a couple of plants anyway. Thank you very much for watching my video this week guys and best of luck for 2022 in all your plant endeavors if you like this video please leave a like down below it really helps it lets me know that i'm doing a good job of making content for you guys and if you haven't already please consider subscribing i would love to have you here i would love to grow this channel as much as i possibly can this year i will leave any extra videos that i've talked about down below and until then i will see you next week bye guys